So are we are ready to start with page number four. So first you're gonna cut a, a left flap and it's going to measure five and one quarter inches wide by five and one eighth inch tall. Put it in the scoreboard with the five and one quarter on top and score a half an inch. Then you're going to have a right flap five inches wide by five and one eighth inches tall also. Put in the scoreboard the five inch on top and score half an inch. Then we are going to have a, a pocket on the bottom. It's going to measure nine inches by three and one quarter, three and one quarter. And you're going to put it in the scoreboard on the short side and you're going to score it on this long side. Turn it over, score it half an inch, and score it half an inch. So once you have everything scored, go ahead and fold and burnish. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to miter my corners and I'm going to put my score tape on and then I will be right back. So let me show you what we're going to be building. We're going to have the left flap and a right flap and this bottom pocket. Pretty simple. So we are going to start, doesn't matter if you start with the left or right flap. I've got my score tape on and I've mitered the corners there. Well, I've mitered my edges of the flap. So the left flap is going to go on the left side. Here's the spine. That's going to go there. And then the right flap is going to be on this side. And they're both, they should be even with each other, obviously. And they're both adhered to the side of the album. So that's where those are going to go. Once you have those in, dry fit your pocket down below because you want the right, the flap should be clearing the pocket and mine do. So I am going to go ahead and put my flaps in and then my, my bottom pocket, remember, I only put the bottom part down here. Uh, I don't put in the edges yet till I get my paper in, but I'm going to go ahead and get everything else in. So I have my left and right flaps in and my pocket down here. So I put on the left inner flap, I put some magnets in this, uh, in the corners here, close to the edge, like that. And I'm going to transfer them over to the top part of the right flap. So that's where they transferred. And that's important because we're going to be putting um, our paper and we want to make sure our paper covers this. So we have our magnets, our magnets in, and you can kind of see where they are. So there's where the magnets are on this side, and there's where they are on the top of the right flap. Let's do, let's do the inside page here. So you are going to pull this paper from the eight by eight collection and just go ahead and cut it right at the edge down here where you see the white line down there, the separation of the cards and the paper, cut it there and ink the edges. Once you have this piece in, then you can um, go ahead and pull up your pocket and close it. Then you are going to put a thin strip of this green dotted paper. Is that green paper? Where you can cut, get this from is from this piece. You've already cut this door out. 
So you should have more of this. This little edge next to Santa here, just cut this little strip out right here of that green dot. And you are going to adhere that down over that pocket, the top part of the pocket. The rest of the pocket is cut from this paper, from the 12 by 12. Here's the back side. And you are just going to cut it, fit it to size. I have a tiny little bit of black reveal in between, actually not much at all, between the green and this paper. I think I just butted it up next to that paper. And then you're going to cover your pocket with this. This we will get to um, later. So you have this done and you have the outside of your pocket done. Next, you're going to cover this left outer flap. So the magnets on the inside, no magnets on this side. You're going to cover this and you are going to get this paper. This is from the patterns. Um, 12 by 12. Here's the back side. You are going to go down to this corner that has the Christmas tree. And you are going to cut the Christmas tree so it fits in here. So just cut that piece out. And just cut it to fit your, pop, your um, flap. So that's going to be your Christmas tree is covering this. Here's my Christmas tree down here. Make sure you ink the edges, get that piece down. Now the right um, outer flap has your magnets. So what I did here is I just put a thin strip right here of that red paper. You should have plenty of scraps of this red striped paper. Uh, don't, don't have any with me, but you know what I mean, this red striped paper. You've cut it plenty of times. You just need like, what is that? I just put a little strip. I don't even know what size it is. It's like a quarter of an inch strip. I just wanted some red paper here to distinguish this page from this page. So just put a little red strip, cut it to size to fit, and that should you should be easily clearing those magnets. The magnets are over here. So that little strip is going to be down here. The rest of the, the flap, so you got your little strip down here, of the red stripe. Let me outline that for you. So you have that red strip of paper here. Your magnets are here, plenty of clearance. So the rest of this paper, you're gonna go back to this paper. And what I did is I took the image from over on this side where the rocking horse starts. So you cut off the, the tree over here, and then I went over to the rocking horse and put this paper over here. And I think I cut the rocking horse down a little bit because I want it to have the teddy bear in there. So I kind of cut him down a little bit. So you can see how I cut mine. So I just cut the, the, the rocking horse there because I just wanted the teddy bear up there. So that's how I did it. And you're going to be covering up those magnets once you get this paper in. So you got that paper in. You've inked it. Put it in. You got this paper in. Now we need to do the insides. The insides of our flaps. So the inside sides of the flaps, this this green stripe here, which kind of matches the green stripe on your paper inside your pocket, that is coming from this paper. You've already cut this paper. 
Remember you cut it right at the red line? So you should have this scrap left over. And all I did was I took this piece and I basically cut it in half. So I took this piece, this green paper here with the notes on it, and then I just cut it in half and used a stripe over on this left flap and a stripe over on this right flap. So find this scrap that you should have because you've cut this off, cut this in half, and just measure it to the size that you would need for the height. Don't adhere it down yet because you don't know where to adhere it. What you're going to do on both sides is you are going to get a, a one inch strip. And this one inch strip is coming from this paper again. So you've already used this part down here. So I just pulled a one inch strip. You can see where I, I pulled it in through, I think over here, it doesn't really matter. I pulled that one inch strip from here my even in frame. No, this is so hard. I have that one inch strip coming from here like that. And then this part is coming from over here. I've got my poinsettia there and I put it in like this. So I filled this in with this paper. Does it matter? No. That was just me. Same thing on this side. You are going to have a one inch strip of this paper. You can see where I cut it from this side. I've got my candy cane there, my candy cane there, North Pole. I put that one inch strip and then you put your stripes in. You put those stripes in next to those one inch strips and then you fill it in with paper from this collection, from this pad. And I just wanted to include my um, this stocking, Christmas stocking, so this is the piece I put picked for here. So let me just give you a close-up so you can see. You got the one inch strip, then you got the, the green note paper, and then you have that paper. Go on this inner flap, you've got this paper, you've got that green stripe, and then you have this one inch strip. So you're basically using this pad. And this. So that pretty much takes care of the inside. And we got the outside is the same we got that we got the outside of this and then I just I put pulled this little card let me get this where I pulled this card so that tab right there I pulled it from the bottom of the piece that you just cut it's this piece right here it's that piece right there it goes in this direction. I just mounted it on black cardstock and put it down here. I just put it like three quarters of the way in, so it's about that distance from the Christmas tree. You can see it's just that distance from the Christmas tree. It's basically up from the bottom. It's about two inches, and it's about... one and a half inches in. Two inches up from the bottom, one and a half in inches in from the side of the flap. And I just added a little pull ribbon here, and then I covered it with that, the same paper. I covered the back side of this with the same paper. So it covers the ribbon, where I put the ribbon in. This is the same paper as this. And then I just adhered it on right there. So 
this is basically done. Now this is coming. Let me pull where this came from. So this, this piece down here, this rocking horse comes from the pattern and solids, this part here. And I just cut this guy out. I cut off the brown. See where the brown is going around the green? I cut off the brown and just went straight to the green. And then I mounted him on black cardstock. So he looks like this. So it's just that image mounted on black cardstock. Then I put him over this, this piece here. This is just four inches by one and an eighth inches. And then I used my scallop punch here on the, the corners and I covered it in that red dotted paper. So it's just that red dotted paper. And then I just added some brads and I just kind of put them about like that. I just added some brads, opened them up on the back and then sealed it. And I added a piece of black construction tape um, to, to cover this whole thing. And then I put that down in the center and then I put this rocking horse card right on the center of this. So that is it for this page. The only other thing is I did pull this card from the collection and ink the edges and added this paper on the back just to make a, a photo mat. So I just put that in there. So this page is done.